What's up everybody, Titan here, another guide in Batman Arkham Origins. This time I'm doing the Not an Ordinary Criminal Guide. In order to do this, you must, as an elite, earn 4,000 experience points in a single multiplayer match. Now, I did this in my first multiplayer match because I believe you get a bonus of about 2,500 points just for it being your first match, but you can also do it easier by getting the cowpot, the caches that they'll have bonus XP like boosters that you can get and you get that from you get that at least in the start the cobble pot uh, caches by getting all of his weapon stashes in the single player game you get them for free then I think you get six of them for free then in the multiplayer game but because this is also my first multiplayer match I figured oh I'd do a little kind of tutorial on the multiplayer and just kind of tell you what it's all about so you either play as an elite for Joker or an elite for Bane and as you saw there I killed Batman and there are two people playing as Batman versus uh, Batman and Robin I should say and it's 3v 3v 2 so as an elite you're mainly going against the other elites but you also have to watch out for Batman and Robin too which is difficult because you kind of got to be watching people in front of you but then you also kind of get, got to be watching all the vantage points and seeing where they are but you get the detective vision so called as you do when you're Batman and playing the game but you can see the little meters there on the bottom left one of them the bottom one is the sprint meter and the other one is your goggles meter and the goggles meter if it runs out then you have to wait for it to completely recharge before you can use it again, so it's a lot smarter to turn it off manually than, than let it run out on its own, because if you let it run out on, on its own, you feel very vulnerable, because you can't see anything at all, and it's, it's really difficult. Now, I'm capturing this point here, and I will tell you, capturing the three different points... Um, I believe unless you capture all three points, there really isn't much of an advantage that you gain from it, other than I believe you get experience points for capturing and holding the points, but I don't think I ever got it where there were three people, where my team had all three points, and I don't know how much of an advantage you gain from having all three points, but there must be something, because otherwise the point mechanics... The, the capture points would just kind of be pointless. But there's uh, there's Robin. He just kicked me, I believe. You know, he threw a battering, and you saw my vision kind of get blurried and shit. And I was just like, well, where the hell did that come from? I was kind of looking around, but I couldn't find him. Then he just kicked me. So I almost got killed there, but I was able to evade out of there and went into cover, waited for this guy to come around the corner, and I was able to get him. So it's actually a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun than I thought the multiplayer would be, and it's just a different, it's just a change of pace from the, the single player game, if you're playing as an elite anyway. I played as Batman once, uh, and I didn't really like it all that much because it's like, it's not like you're going up against computer people where you can just stay in the vantage points and just wait for them to go to the certain spots that they're programmed to do. You have to kind of just track people and just make sure that they're that they're just not gonna see you because if they see you, you're probably gonna die because as you saw when I killed Batman earlier it doesn't take a whole lot to kill him but it's still pretty fun um, I showed my roommate the one of my videos of the multiplayer and he said it looks like a lot like the Gears of War multiplayer you got your third person shooter which is you know natural and then the chest high walls and all that stuff but here I almost got to be the Joker and like halfway through the game there will be like a super villain door quote unquote and whatever team gets to it first whoever gets to it first will be able to play as either the Joker or Bane depending on what team you are and it's only the team that gets there first but I wish they w what they would have done was the team that's losing just has the option to be able to get it so that it doesn't get completely 
overpowered to one side that's just already has the advantage. Now, I was lucky there. I liked, I used the Joker to my advantage there because they were distracted by the Joker. I was able to take out... I think I took out both of them. If I didn't take out both of them, I get, got an assist for one of them. I saw Batman up there. Or Robin. I, I'm not sure who it was, so I just kind of shot at him. What I wish they would do, instead of being able to see Robin and Batman on the radar using the, the vision... I shouldn't say on the radar. Using the vision, I wish you couldn't see them at all. Just so that playing is them is, is I wouldn't say easier, but it'd make more sense. Because you'd think they're only kind of going after the enemies in this. And not really having to worry about Batman and Robin. But then all of a sudden they show up and you're like, oh shit, we weren't prepared for this. We were just here to fight Joker or fight Bane's gang. But uh, since I'm like the first level, I don't have... You see on the bottom left there, there are the two, the right and the left on the control pad and those are let's say upgrades i hear i tried to beat somebody down because there are like tutorial videos that you watch before this which are actually pretty useful and it said you beat downs a guy and there's my body just kind of flying around there for no reason but you can beat down a guy by using the if you're using the left trigger and just push it down you'll beat somebody down but then i did it three times and i didn't kill anybody so i was just like well guess i didn't do that right but now we got no reinforcements left on our team, and if you have no reinforcements left on your team, a thing you can do, and it's also an achievement, uh, if you manage to kill a hero while you have no reinforcements left, the people that are dead on your team, I believe, will come back. And you won't get, I don't think you get any more reinforcements, but the people that are dead on your team, like I am dead right there, we have no reinforcements left, so I don't come back at all that they'll they'll come back and that's that's also an achievement but no I I had a lot of fun with this multiplayer a lot more fun than I thought it would it's kinda like the Assassin's Creed uh, 3 multiplayer that I played I had a lot more fun with it than I thought I would which it's kinda nice and I mean like like I said Gears of War type of gameplay you know it's not bad, but like I said, there it is. First match bonus, 2,500 points there. So it's a lot easier to get the achievement here. And I got 2,600 experience points, so I was able to get it here. It's pretty cool. Also, if you win the match, you get another 1,000 experience points. So there's the achievement for not an ordinary criminal. As an elite earned 4,000 experience points in a single multiplayer match. So, I hope that you found this little commentary informative about the multiplayer. And I was talking about, I, I, I just remembered, I was talking about the, the right and the left on the, on the control pad. I never explained about that. You get upgraded stuff, like Jokers has like this... This blimp that you can use, it explodes, and a couple other upgrades. Bane has this, like, UAV thing that you can shoot at people, but you get upgrades as you go along. Different costumes have uh, upgradable stuff, too. So that is all for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.